Welcome to One Lisa Show. My name is Lisa, where I talk about everything crafting from sewing, crochet, knitting, other crafts, baking, and just things going on in my life in little old Indiana. Today, I wanted to share with you a small Joanne's fabric haul that I did this week. I'm very pleased because I had been putting off buying fabric and then I caught myself picking up little bits here or there when I'm out and about. And I'm making something with them right away. So I'm actually not building a stash and I've been using what I had in my stash. So it's pretty, it's dwindled down. So I am, it's March and I told myself I was gonna buy fabric in March and here I am <laughs> buying fabric in March. So Joanne's had, you know, they send, she sends the flyers. She knows what she's doing. It had a 60% off coupon on the back and a quilters showcase was $3.99 a yard. All cotton fabrics are 40% off. So I circled it with my marker and this is March 11th to 24th. So there's still plenty of time. You can go out and get some yourself. Keepsake calico cotton was $5.99 is $5.99 a yard, which is also not a bad price. There is a 60% coupon on that flyer. So that is wonderful. However, it's hard to find something right now that I, it's hard for me to find something. <laughs> It's not already on sale because those 60%, 50% off coupons, you cannot use those on a sale item, even though sometimes they are more valuable than the the sale that's going on, which I, that always frustrates me, but it's okay. I did have a 20% off my total purchase coupon and I used that and I saved an additional $10. So I was really excited about that. So let's show you what I got. From Joann's. I'm going to show you uh, the non-fabric items really quick. I bought this pattern before but I bought the wrong size. It's Simplicity 1544. It's a men's uh, button-down shirt and I bought one with the intentions to make a shirt for my brother. I've made the female version of this shirt for myself and he loved it so I wanted to treat him and surprise him with a shirt. I have ordered fabric for his shirt on Minerva and I have bought flannel fabric from Joann's in hopes that I get the right shirt size pattern. So I did, but I did keep the, the first one that didn't, that isn't his size because he's right on that cusp. He's a 16 and a half neck and that's the, the size that I just bought and the pattern, the largest size in the the first pattern I bought was a 16 neck. Well, you know what? I thought I might as well keep them both. I'm gonna make this 16 and a half. If it's too large for him, I can size it down. And then I have that pattern for the 16 neck still. And that pattern was on sale at Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. So I feel like it's okay to keep it. And this pattern is 199. So I still did good having both of versions of that same pattern, both size ranges for three bucks. I also bought thread. Thread was on sale, buy three, get two free. I am a fan of the Coates and Clark Dual Duty XP and I got colors that match the fabrics I bought today that I knew I did not have thread or was iffy if I had the right color thread. And then the remaining two to make up that buy three, get two free white. Let me show you my quilter showcase fabrics. One of my resolutions this year was to start buying, when I did buy fabric, to buy larger quantities of a certain fa of fabrics, unless I exactly knew what I was going to make and how much, uh, how much yardage I truly needed. And when I would buy fabric, because I thought it was really neat, I tend to buy like a yard. And guess what? That's usually not enough to make anything that I might want to make out of that fabric. <laughs> so I... My stash is compiled of little half yards and one yards, and it's not enough to do really much with. So I've been using my stash. I'm very happy with that. What I have bought was some quilt showcase, which is a quilting cotton. Perfect, I think, for um, shirts, for skirts, or even uh, structured dresses. The first one is this dusky or French country blue with bees and ladybugs on it. I think that would make a perfect shirt. I already have a pattern in mind and I think I got two and a half yards of this. 
Now these all are of the same composition, so they're going to have the same drape. Um, none of these have been washed yet. Just purchased them. But how spring and summer like is this? It looks almost like a light denim or a chambray. So I'm very happy with that. Next one, I think I got three yards of it. Make sure I'm showing it to you, not upside down, right? This is a directional print, so I wanted to make sure I had a nice amount to work with. But it's birds, it's a white background with a different birds on it. I can't tell if this is supposed to be a seasonal Christmas print or not, but I did love it. The colors, the teals and greens in it, and their dark colors, I just, they really, it was very striking to me. So I am excited for this one because I think this would make a good top as well. But if I have enough for maybe a dress, I might do a shirt dress out of this. Okay, and then my last one, I got three and a half yards because quilter's cotton is 44, usually 44 inches wide. So you want to make sure you have enough, especially if you're going to do a dress or something like that. This one is this vivid, deep violet with lilac colored flowers, light gray flowers, and yellow flowers. And it just is, to me, it was gorgeous. It's a very dark violet and it has black and white in it as well. It's, you know, some people might call this a retro-esque print. I don't know. I, uh, it's a larger size print, so I think it would be a perfect for a dress. And I'm going to embrace the vivid colors and the bright colors because I feel like if you're making it, you might as well make something that makes you smile, right? And that made me smile as soon as I saw it. They did have that same fabric pattern, excuse me, in a smaller scale print. So that would have been nice too. I Actually, in that case, I might have gotten a couple of yards of that so I could have done some contrast, but I'm really happy. I'm, I'm excited to work on that. And then I hit the clearance section and I actually got um, only one fabric from the clearance section. It's a Lyocell, Lyocell uh, tweed. It's olive green, gorgeous drape to it. This still was not cheap in the clearance section. So I'm going to be a little more cautious in, in asking how much is this per yard with the discount of the clearance. I did get only a yard and a half of this because I know it's going to be for shorts or maybe pants if I could squeak out pants, but I, initially I want shorts and I got extra than what I thought I would need for shorts because I, I don't know what shorts I want to do. If I want to do a culotte, if I want to do a long short, or if I want to do a short, shorter version for like casual. But it is a twill and it's very hard to find a twill at Joann's. So I'm very excited lovely drape. It's very soft. It feels like it's almost like a brushed feel to it. It's reminiscent of a, a dress pant that I would buy at like Kohl's. <laughs> so I knew it would be perfect for pants or shorts. That's my fabric haul from Joann's. And um, I am wearing today, this. I made this sweater this winter. It is <clears throat> A yarn inspirations pattern that I converted to my bond incredible knitting or incredible sweater machine so I did all the ribbing by hand and I made the sweater on the, the panels on the machine so it's a little baggy uh, but I'm actually very happy with it otherwise I use scraps so it wasn't meant to be anything special just something to do <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great day. This sale for Joann's does run till March 24th. So there's plenty of time to go out there and um, check their website, check their app and see what else is on sale. They're, I believe now, see some things you don't know if they're a doorbuster really, even with the flyer. You don't know if it's only for that one weekend or if it's running the whole sale. The Quilter's Cotton should be on sale the entire time to March 24th. And if you did get that mailer, there's plenty of great coupons on the back. And this is not sponsored. Joann's could care less about me. <laughs> so.
have a great day and let me know what you're sewing. Thanks.